Thanks for being here. Speaking is Cindy Clemishire's power. I was 12 years old. And I was wearing pink pajamas. Her accusation, Gateway Pastor Robert Morris sexually assaulted her for years in the 80s, shook one of the largest churches in North Texas. But one piece of paper could have kept her quiet. Had I signed a non-disclosure agreement uh, back in 2007 and accepted the $25,000, I would not be able to be speaking out now. She says attorneys for Morris offered money to help pay for therapy, but only if she signed a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA. I don't believe it would be right to tell someone that they can't talk about things that have happened in their own life. She refused, and when she publicly told her story this summer, Morris confessed to, quote, inappropriate sexual behavior and resigned. Your survivor should be allowed to speak about their life. Now, Clemma Shire is taking that message to lawmakers. I think the biggest reason that I am able to be here today is because I refuse to sign the NDA. At the state capitol, she's now testifying as part of a push to ban NDAs, especially in child sex abuse cases. It is just protecting the predator whenever an NDA is forced on a victim. North Texas lawmakers say they'll push the issue next session. Clemishire hopes they'll consider changing the civil statute of limitations, too, so victims can sue. I think that he does a restitution. Clemishire says she can speak. Now she wants to empower others to use their voices as well. In Dallas, I'm Cole Sullivan.